Okay guys, I think I was wrong. I released a video this week saying that the best place to make lanterns shine was in an Anarchy deck. And yet the day after releasing the video, I was playing around with Batgirl, and I managed to get a 99-114 Hell Jordan. And that's not even the only crazy thing that the deck can do. I'm planning on spending more time optimizing this one, so I'll update the deck code in the description periodically. And if you have any suggestions, please let me know in the comments. While you're down there, why not like and subscribe? Anyway, the deck is simple. Batgirl with some evade and draw tactics cards, Hal Jordan with all the lanterns except for Kyle Rayner, and the Adepts, which also should really have been cut from the Anarchy list I had. On turn 3, you can play a lantern and reactivate its effect with the extra resources from Hal Jordan and Batgirl's redeploy active. It's best to have a Killawog or a buff Jon Stewart to use this on. The deck can be very draw dependent, but you'll see three different ways to snowball your side of the board in this video. Stick around to the end to see the big boy Hal Jordan. Enjoy! Batman Wonder Woman. This is not the person we were versing last game. The Anarchy faction is really good at shutting these two down. Just because of all the exhausts. Alright, we do want to keep the John Stewart. I'm going to toss the Green Arrow. Because most of their things have more health than two. We may have too many Lanterns in this opening hand. Okay, so Detective Chimp goes down. Uh, they certainly are playing Steve Trevor. A killer wog. That is a beautiful sight. Uh, so next turn may probably need to be Jessica Cruz. Just so we have something big enough to kill their things. Actually, that's a lie. The reason that's a lie is that they have both their leaders active. And the Jessica Cruz will just outright die to it. So we'll use the chip. And then... We have silver next turn, right? So I'll be able to... How Jordan to generate an extra bronze. And then I'll be able to kill a wog and then use Bat Batgirl, sorry on the killer wog again. Yo, this is exciting. Maybe I just need to get out more. Okay, Commissioner Gordon. <clears throat> Are we able to clear our whole board now? Um, but I'm still not really that worried about it. Uh, when we drop the killer wog, it'll be a 6-8 by the time we finish with that. So I'll probably put it here. Uh, to protect the bad girl. Oh! Where's that going? On the squad car. I'm so unconcerned by that. Alright, so killer wog uses this Ron's resource. And then we will Hell Jordan to generate another bronze resource. And use Batgirl you don't stand a to use that bronze resource again. Then we'll just kill off their Commissioner Gordon. Uh, I thought he was going to be a 6-8. He is a 6-8, it just hasn't updated graphically. And now all of our lanterns are kind of thick. So I might play this one down next turn. We may need the John Stewart, we'll see. Um, but ideally we have both Jessica Cruz's hit the John Stewart and then he just blasts someone in the face. Okay. Are they gonna be using the Wonder Woman to clear out the killer wog here? Looks like it. That would make our John Stewart even better at hitting them in the face, potentially. May the gods grant us their favor. Oh no, the graphical error happened for them as well. Ah, uh, I don't even have like a sorry emote or anything like that. Uh, so we play this one down. Make it at 
we will, you know what, we should have... I did that poorly. We should have um, traded this off and then played the cruise. Uh, unfortunately, the buff from that went on to the other Jessica cruise. But at, now we're guaranteed for this to go on the John Stewart. And the turn after will be prepped to double Jon Stewart. Now unfortunately he only does, he'll only be dealing 8 damage. But that's still enough to KO their Diana. Which means all other damage we want to focus here. Ooh, okay. That could really mess us up. So... Okay, they are focused here on killing this. <laughs> they dealt the 8 damage to Batman for me. Oh, I drew another lantern. That's actually fine. Because we can play this here. And then this generates a bronze before you ask to activate this. So now I have 10 5 Jessica Cruz. And then next turn, because I see no way of them killing both our leaders here. Uh, this does have Hunter, so uh, no, I still see no way of them killing either of our leaders this turn. So we'll double John Stewart next turn. I'll be able to clear that with leader abilities, so if this is alive, it'll just kill their Batman. Okay. We're probably about to see some bandage spam here. Or if they have two batarangs, would be enough to kill this now. Kinda not where I expected them to put that, to be honest. Because this could have traded this off quite readily. Ooh, a swamp thing. That's gross. May the gods grant us their favor. Oh, they made the trade for us, and they're out of reach. Oh, that has guard, though. Okay. Am I still John Stewarting this turn? I feel like I am. But do I instead use it to wipe their board? Need that bronze. So this is gonna hit here. And then have that spare resource, so then we'll use it to kill the Batman. And then because Batgirl has the most health, we'll go here, then here. We are now out of lanterns, so next turn will be probably Signal and Robin. The double evade should hopefully keep our leaders healthy enough until they can get uh, their charges back up again. So it would take them two batarangs, uh, three batarangs in fact, to kill this now, which is really great. So and surely, like, they've played quite a lot of gadgets, so surely the one they've generated is the only one they have. Hey. <laughs> that cow's fine. Oh, wow. That's all they have to spend their resources on. Okay. Speed is tempting. But I think I want the charges because the leader attacks will allow us to close out the game. Uh, we're going to play this Robin in the back, even though we have nothing to play in front of it right now. Last thing we want is them drawing more cards. So now. I mean, our hand's kind of kind of garbage now.
but also we're miles ahead on board. We're actually behind in leader health, but that's fine. So we might actually see it concede very shortly. Um, dependent on. Okay, never mind. They might be able to make a very big unit. Okay. Well, this only gets buffed based on actions. Which that obviously is not an action. So I can still kill most of their board. Draw another signal. So I'll make this trade. I probably shouldn't play that signal actually. Make that trade. Not going to bother playing the speedy. We're just going to drop the Harvey Bullock here. Oh, I could have killed one of them with John Stewart. I still can. Uh, we'll just make that attack there. And then we have an extra bronze, so we can make the John Stewart hit them in the face. And then I'm actually two damage short of killing the Batman here. Sadness. Alright, well now we should definitely see a concede. So this may actually, I don't know, we got real lucky with what we drew. But if there's some consistency here, this may be the best way to play Lanterns. Okay, so what, they put 7 damage through to Batgirl? I still live. I still live. Oh no, are they just going to clear my whole board here? Ah, uh, see, I kind of feel like this should have hit here to clear the evades and then that should have hit in. Because I mean, this has still got ambush, which is a very disgusting uh, um, ability. Alright. I think we win. This trades off there, and then Speedy just hits them. GG Joven Porto. Alright, so... Versing a... Wonder Woman Green Arrow. Uh, toss the Grapnel. We probably actually need to remove this from the deck because it's quite hard to find the space to play it. It's a bit of a win more card. Um, we're going to keep both of these. Question's a great draw for us. Um, we need to see what how Jordan generates us on our first turn. Uh, this is a pretty lethal combo. Uh, green Arrow. Uh, if he's lucky enough to get off of the option, has some extremely strong uh, clears for some of the larger minions that we may be putting out. The killer log. Love to see it. So unfortunately we'll have a silver resource before we have the leaders charged. Uh, so at this point we're really looking for a uh, another lantern to play on that turn. Uh, we can play the John Stewart. Alright, well that's gotta go. Well, there you go. Jessica Cruz. So we'll... Although, if I seek and bullock, it always plays a Jessica Cruz next turn. So we'll do the seek first. We're not going to have to play a lantern afterwards anyway. Another killer walk. I'm more than okay with that. Drop that down, remove this blue devil, um, and we'll start trying to get rid of this green arrow. 
back because we're going to find that it's going to do a lot to clear our board. So we have a silver resource next turn, but we're we actually will dro uh, drop a Kellawog uh, for the simple fact that we'll be able to uh, double buff with the second Kellawog the turn after. And that's just a little bit disgusting. Okay. They've obviously not been given uh, arrows that they're particularly fond of. The other good thing is, even if they clear this using an arrow, um, it's not going to help their board state. So if they use the arrow here, they do not. So I can clear... no I cannot because the one one is going to kill one of my things. So that's fine. They opt to get rid of the question. We'll drop a smaller Kilowog. Ooh, Robin is tasty. They have no charges next turn. So a 5-7 is very good to be dropping with a silver. It's not so good to be dropping with a silver and a bronze, but obviously it has other much stronger effects. So without charges, they'd have to use both of their current minions to get through this. Of course they can just ignore it if they drop a steel here or a Queen Hippolyta. Queen Hippolyta works great for them because it puts us out of range of um, the killer wall trading into it. However, I wouldn't be too surprised here if they went Wildcat and the Hippo, not the Hippo, the anti interface. Ah, all that. That works really well for them as well. So now, both of their minions going to be damaged, I mean, recruits will be damaged and I'll be forced to run into them with my leaders. However, we're going to play this. Yep. Alright, which becomes an 810. And then we'll get the resource. Reactivate it. Becomes a 911. Uh, and we will take the bigger face hit here from uh, to the back girl. So obviously our Jordan is very exposed. So if we can hold off long enough to play this, uh, like if we can hold off three turns before playing this, we will be able to make it a very, very big thing. Now they may be running Arrest, uh, which do a lot of work. Uh, right now what they're looking for is the gold arrow that does uh, it's a something repeating arrow. So that does 5 damage and then becomes free and deals another 5. It's an insane uh, way to remove quite large minions. And is the reason why Green Arrow is so good. Arguably still not as good as Batman, but pretty good. Oh, double steal. Okay, so May the gods grant us their favor. it looks like they're just going to try and kill my Jordan here, or get as close as possible to killing my Jordan here. This, unfortunately, is not quite enough to kill one of these steals. Second one is... Um, so I think... They don't have an answer for a 19, then I don't think they'll have an answer for a 16-16. So we're gonna drop this and hope. And then we'll make that trade. Now this is obviously, uh, after taking that 5 damage, this is approaching the point where it's killable. But they need more than just uh, one of their current recruits. It would be lovely to see them run them both in and try and develop something else. Especially if that something else has six or less health. Because then I have Jon Stewart for the turn after. If it does not have six or less health, I'll probably just drop Jessica Cruz, as she will be a 13-12. 
which is really nutty. And it may even be worth tossing her out uh, simply to get um, a buff on this. Ooh, so it looks like they're going through the killer log here. So that'd be five damage to me, bad girl. We can remove the steel. We cannot, unfortunately, remove the superboy. But I'll use this. I hope like hell it is large enough. Uh, to keep my bad girl alive. Because we're starting to have the point that I quite desperately need more health on this Jordan. If we'd been able to land the Robin, uh, which, based on what they did previous turns, he wouldn't have survived. But if we had been able to land the Robin, um, we would have had both of these available right now. Ooh. Now that's some premium removal right there. So now lies the question of whether we actually bother. Oh, and what did I say? Those green arrow um, trick arrows are just kind of nutty. Oh, they have their own Robin. I can um, clear that relatively simply. In fact, I can just John Stewart that. Twice, in fact. I so we'll use this one. Clear that. Oh, nearly messed up there. We need to generate the bronze resource first. And then we can use this to clear here. And then we can kill their green arrow. And honestly, I think we'll see a conceit here. So what else are they to do? The answer is probably not a lot. I have lethal next turn, almost guaranteed. Okay, swamp things, okay. Unfortunately, it still goes down to a single one of my units. Ah, that one extra health. Probably a lot better for them than they realize. I'm going to put the Robin down. And I'm going to put it in the back. And then I'm just going to dump the star girl in front. And we'll just go for a clear here. They're pretty much out of resources. Um, assuming our leaders both survive until uh, either next turn if they don't clear the robin, or the turn after if they do clear the robin, uh, then we'll just kill them from hand with this John Stewart, because I'll be able to double activate it if both the leaders are up. No longer do they have a trick arrow to do some nasty clear here. Okay, that's good for them. That'll probably go here. And then, what else do they have? I was kind of hoping it was another swamp, uh, swamp thing to give them a bit of courage. May the gods grant us their favor. Okay, so I assume this is going here, because there's no way they want to take 3 damage. I mean 13 damage, because they'd only be on 3 health. Wow! That's so bold. I mean, we're already presenting lethal with that. In fact, I, I don't understand why the Commissioner Gordon didn't go here. I don't even need to do anything fancy. I just literally attack. Once again, this deck feels great. Um, that's okay. Ah, oh, that's terrible.
Do I just go ham? Is that what happens? So if I do this, and then we'll the ring chooses, chooses one of them, get a Jessica Cruz, and then power battery again. Play a Simon Bears. I think that's a pretty good start, but I'm probably going to run out of cards. Uh, so anything I draw now that's not a lantern is like not going to be very good. But of course, I'm going to have a seven eight on turn. Ah, oh, two golds. 7 8 on turn 2, so we're pretty happy. Plus, because of the back girl, we can just keep gaining value out of these. So, they'll be able to trade off with the Wonder Woman here, so unfortunately, the 7 8 is still going to have to hit the Superman robot, um, which will give them enough time to get the charge on their Shazam. Plus, they have a crypto. <laughs> Plus, they have Amazonian braces. <laughs> I am unhappy. Not at all where I expected that to go. Um, we're just going to drop Stargirl. So we'll use. Wait, this does have shield, eh? Nope. So that KOs it, sure does. Then we'll go here. I'm assuming there was probably an issue with the uh, what was showing on his screen as to what health this actually has. Um, there's been heaps of graphical errors um, with things gaining extra health. <laughs> the Olsen is back. Um, we're only on a silver resource next turn. Okay. Well, steel goes down, luckily. I'm gonna play a bears here. That was a double silver turn, so if I don't activate it, then we get to double this up, quadruple it up. So I'm not going to do it. And then we protect the back girl. Technically, she can um, sit in and just wait. May the gods grant us their favor. Now it is... oh nice! Nice! Do they have something to protect it? They sure do. Not really certain why they use that then. So it's Hal Jordan. 16-16. And then reactivate it to make him a 32-32. It's a pity we didn't have um, another lantern in hand. Do I just ignore this Olsen? I don't think I can just ignore this Olsen. Neither is this Shazam good to leave up. Oh, imagine if I had a John Stewart in hand. That would have been crazy. Because it would have gone to, what, 12 power? Even without any other buffs?
Um, <laughs> I think they're just kind of sitting here wondering what to do about this. Ah, oh, no! If he freaking <laughs> lightning bolt kills me, I'm going to be so sad. Ah, oh, thank goodness. Alright, that does not gain shield. Okay, so it's that and this. Oop. That and this. This will kill that. And then next turn my leaders will be charged again. And I can make a very big boy. Another Freddy. Please don't tell me he has another lightning bolt. Does have a sizable number of lightning bolts in his deck now. Oh, come on! Oh, and at this point it gets real disgusting because this just keeps adding them. Ah, oh, looks like he didn't get one. Phew. Um, I, don't, I could, like, actually lose, um, from Lightning Bolt. Okay, are they gonna use... Oh, they're gonna use their face. It's risky business. I suppose the Shazam has an extremely good chance of drawing a Lightning Bolt, right? Um, so that arguably would be how they're getting them. Okay, Harvey is a card. You don't stand a chance. <laughs> My sixty-four fifty-seven. Um. Whatchamacallit? I think I just bluebird here. Tear gas. So, I mean, this needs to die. Right? That'll go there. Not really a big fan of this 9-4. You know what? I'm just going to suicide. And then we'll... Do that. Wait, did I just miss lethal? Nah, because I had to use this to kill a minion. If I get another attack off with the Robin... <laughs> they're just going for... They just need to hope that... That's not a lightning bolt. If they can draw six lightning bolts in a row... Ah... Uh, unfortunate. So we'll do... This... I don't know if um, Robin doesn't gain charges. You don't stand a <laughs> How did it get to 99? How does doubling get you to 99? Ninety-nine, one hundred and fourteen. Now that is a hell, Jordan. Thanks so much for watching. Let me know in the comments what you thought, and check out my other Lantern video.